gentlemen, boys and girls, you are tuned in to the number one pop culture podcast in the whole world. This is Zero Conditions Podcast. And I'd like to say, hey, season's greetings, compliments of the season. That's why you're wearing red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Chris, man, in there, I have the stomach to go. Oh, you my get God. Me? <laughs> my man says stomach. stomach Not stomach. No, stomach. Mock. You get me? And this episode, we're keeping it gangster. We have the one and the only Odumodu Black. We're the building. A.K.A. Big Kala. Big Kala. A.K.A. Oye Pompa. <laughs> A.K.A. If you bring 10 people, I'm going to come with 30 God niggas. That's nigga. what it is. A.K.A. Vladimir. What? That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> is that you get dead? I don't know. They said they killed him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who has Gustavo? <laughs> My brother. Yo, the one doing the building. Guy, yeah. clap now. This is a. This is um. Please clap. <laughs> what? Not, not to like bully, bullying people in the studio. Every time, bro. Every time. But yeah, this this episode has been a long time coming, man. Yeah, bless, this man. Now we here, we here. Um, it's so great to see. It's so crazy how fast. You know, last last week, last episode we had Perusia. Yeah, Perusia was talking about how, like when you enter that success realm, everything it's really is fast, fast. Yeah. And I remember me me linking up with you. I think MI's listening party. Yeah. And you were about to go record shit and go home with uh, Big Bigfoot. And between that time and Picanto, Declan Rice, brrr, like a lot has happened in such a long time. Bro, it's Congrats, crazy. Bro. It's crazy. It's Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus. Congrats, People don't know that you're Jesus, baby. That they, they gotta know. <laughs> they gotta know I'm a Jesus, baby, because, like, even down, down to the T, remember when Jesus, they almost threw him down from a cliff? Yeah. It was because of what he said. You could say Odi said this and Odi said that, but Odi never said a lie. <laughs> what Odi said may not sit with you, but Odi never told a lie. Fair enough, my nigga. Melody, where would you like to start from? <laughs> you seem stunned. She's stunned, isn't it? <laughs> I need that energy, Melody. You seem stunned. I need that chakra. Bring it <laughs> out. <laughs> Willy Willy practitioner in the building. Hey. <laughs> wait, hey. what does that mean? Hey, hey, hey. Is it wait? Oi, 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 don't, don't, you go to don't, London? don't, hey, hey, hey. oi, 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 don't describe me. Can I, can I, wait, Willy, Willy now let me clarify what it is, bro. <laughs> Willy Willy practitioner, yeah. is it Willy Willy as in? You know the Willy Willy magician one or the Willy Willy the bowler? So like, is it double entendre? Okay. Hmm. Willy Willy practitioner. Somebody that, you know when you say legal practitioner? Yeah. Yes, so that's her forte. Which she is what? practices on Willy Willy. handling Willy Willy. What's Willy Willy? You know what it is? No, I don't. Bola, my nigga. Bola, my nigga. <laughs> now, and she does it, and, it, and she does it in a magical way. Now, there's one of my guys called Willy. Willy Willy. I call him Willy. He's a white boy. His name is Willie. Yeah, his name is Willie. His name is Willie, but I call him Willie. Oh, okay, cool. So, is Willie Willie practice on her? Oh. Ooh. So it's a double entendre. It goes both ways. Huh. Yeah. So not magician things. Yeah. So, mm. so he's practicing. She's practicing. They are firing each other. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to. All the really, really practitioners out there. Yeah, male and female. Yeah. God bless you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. How's the... Yeah. How's, how's the <laughs> you know, it's the other side too. <laughs> how's the dead December going for you? It's awesome. I've been... I, I plan to do as many shows as possible, as possible, whether they pay me or not, you know. Really? Hip-hop shit, yeah. That's, you still want to do free shows? Yeah, like, free shows for my fellow artists. Like Reminis is doing a show. If I have time, I'm gonna go there. They even care whether he invites me or not. Ah, but I don't show. It's in the pa. Olumen Ten is actually moving. Shout to you guys. Ah, bless. Olumen is climbing. Bless, bless. Big shout out Reminis. That's the don. You know, I recorded a song in 2019 named Big Gun, yeah, and I wanted to feature Reminis. Well, it wasn't possible. I don't know anybody. Did you text him? Even if say I text him, why you want to see him? Why be? I've not even gotten to the point where I should even be texting him for me, for him to, you know. I'm very proud of you, bro. I'm, I'm sure you know that. 
Yeah, definitely, bro. I'm very, very proud of you. You've been supporting me since day one. Yeah, but I mean, the music was always very easy to know. Mm. Always. Like, there is nothing. I remember the first time that I'd heard about you before. Um, what's this? Mazi Codex. Yeah. I've been following for Mazi Codex. But Mazi Codex was where I really went and, like, bro, this nigga is going to blow. Mm. This nigga made, like, you remember the verse I'm talking about? Don't leave me. Oh, you have a good memory. Anyway, that's not listening to Don't Leave Me, go and find Don't Leave Me online. <laughs> bro, this nigga went, um, this nigga rapped, like, biblical references, right? <laughs> and rapped it to sex. And I'm like, you know Random now? Random? Yeah, about Random. Do I know him? Like, yeah, you know Random. You probably know him. Yeah. He's, he's a fat boy's guy. I know him. You know Random. I know Random, yeah. I know Random. Random. Yeah, ran, random, random, and I, we discuss this verse every time we meet. Hey, you understand? The verse is such a good. And it's one of those ones. Yes, I was with Wiz and, um, Charles played my verse on para. Charles. They say now the mood will be the running mate of Peter B. Wiz is like the fuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> see, how do you see? <sighs> this nigga's so raw, and I love it. Yeah. What was that like yeah. linking with Wiz? Come on, man, it's a blessing. Presence of greatness. Shout out Wiz all day. Were you, were you starstruck for a minute? No, because I've seen him perform before in Abuja. Took my babe there. Put her in VVIP. She was the only person standing in front of the stage because there was a barricade between the people and the yeah. stage. She went there. She turned into Whiskey's girlfriend right before my eyes. She was screaming her lungs out. I was like, babe, chill now. Whiskey, I see God. Wizzy, Rora. <laughs> hey, we came here to come and enjoy your presence. We look at the beef you, all this sauce where you carry <laughs> come. Tell him was that. looking like a baby. I know, tell him. I'll tell him maybe tomorrow. <laughs> was looking like a baby, like, ah, guy, guy fresh, die. Man, so that Steve Diddy story when Vector allegedly stole his babe. You remember that story? Yeah. Yeah, he shared it. He remember that story babe. where he the took Apple. a babe to a show, and the babe went to take a picture with Vector and never came back. Ah. <laughs> She's like, I'll see you later. Like, bye. It go, be. it go be literally. But but generally, do men have a problem? How do men feel when when they go out with their babes and the babes are like overly excited about their the artists that they are seeing? Like maybe dancing so there, much or shouting or there's crying. Levels to this overly excited. Okay. There is the one he talked about where she's like screaming her lungs out. That's the. Hey, now that's good. That's good. I'm just whining. But Trolling if you're like head. climbing on stage with Ruga, that that's a problem. If you're climbing on stage, if with you Ruga, allow, if you grind on Ruga, and you start oh, grinding oh, on Ruga on oh. stage. Nah, you no. allow Ruga to grind you. Nah, you have though. to grind out the relationship. If you go out, if you see like bro, NG we don't spoil. I don't right. think any babe My gets guy. on stage with Ruga and comes back the same. No. You know, so it's like Shout you, out Ruga once still. You, nah, shout out to Ruga. International once bad boy. Make, once you make the decision consciously to climb the stage with Ruga, the relationship is done. <laughs> Where were you when she climbed this thing? No, no, sure. Well, I'll be dragging, I'm, I'm, I'll be I'm to, her back. Wait, 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 wait. I'll be dragging I, her I am, back. I am, bro, I'm a liberal man. I can't be controlling the impulses of a grown man. You're a liberal man on the pod. Tulani, can you please stop shaking like, like, uh, hmm. stop shaking like the first situation in Nigeria. See, if you drag <laughs> him, I'll drag you. So pick a struggle. Yes. Okay. Yes, Good. I won't. A liberal man. <laughs> Johnny has been incredible. I remember last year at Pulse, Influencer award. Yeah. You were in Lagos. I think you came to pause for an interview and we were trying to pull up and something happened. I think you pulled up eventually. I yeah, I came, I came. Yeah. I think we are Dario. Yeah. Shout out to Yeah. Um but bro, two months a month later, everything went fucking crazy. Yeah, I told them on that pod. I told them on that interview, I said, I'm coming heavy down Boroba. I said it. Everything that's happened, I said it. It's not even a matter of pride or anything. I'm lucky God showed this to me. When I sleep, I see it. Before I met Skep, I seen it. Before I met Bernard, I saw it. Before I met Wiz, I saw it. He showed me rather, not that I saw it. So like, when things happen, I'm not surprised. And greater things will happen in the name of Jesus. Things that mouths can't speak, eyes can't, have not seen and ears have not heard. Not just for me, but also for my niggas, for my city. It's happening. I was skeptical the other day. I said, Baba, my show now on the 15th of Abuja. I said, I'm coming. I said, you are coming. He said, yeah. I said, oh, 15th. Oh, that's my son's birthday. 
Do you know what it means? That Skep wants to come to ABJ. That same place they told us to leave. That nothing happens there. That we should come to Giri. I say, oh yeah, come to the one in Lagos. He say, if he's not coming to ABJ, he's not coming to Nigeria. I said it. You got into trouble for that one time. What's when that? you were talking about ABJ, ABJ and Lagos, and you yeah. were like, they wanted us to leave ABJ for Lagos. And yeah. What, what happened then? What was the situation then? No, I know Bear Man telling me that, yo, it's Lagos people that blew me. How? How? Like, they've been singing my lyrics right from ABJ. Like, I, I had a plan. That my mother will know I'm doing music. Then my gates man. Then his children. Then the abokis. Then the whole area. Then the whole zone. You know. Then the whole state. We know my music. I like. I did it like that. And I said, okay. Then I will now go to London. I'm going to miss the movers and shakers. Oh, then everybody in Lagos because Lagos is is class based mentality. Since the guy has already said this, the king could not sleep till Mordecai gets what he wants. Since the guy is now fucking with OD, everybody in Lagos is going to fuck with OD. London. Yeah, like Skep. Oh. Since Skep is fucking with OD, oh, this one is fucking with OD. The whole London space is fucking with OD. We in Lagos, we have no choice. We have to fuck with OD because it's cool to fuck with OD. Whiskey say OD is his best artist right now. Everybody is going to, even people that never even listen to me, they are going to make me their best artist because Baba, they listen cool, to sorry. me. Co-sign. That's just that's just what it is. I I don't think that was a conversation about Lagos though. Mm, it was. It, it was, was because like me, I used to see what people say. Sometimes yeah. I just type Odumo and I just laugh. Fair enough. You see, I if I no come Lagos now. And I'm like, the same way whiskey needed to go to London, it's the same way I need to come to Lagos. I, I think must, that was the conversation. Yeah, I must come to Lagos. I must go to Kanu. Yeah. <laughs> you guess like like it's, it's not it's not like I must come and stay in Lagos. The same way I need to come to Lagos, the same way I need to go to Miami. So this um what you just described now, when you spoke about um cosigns and how people receive music, and you made mention of the fact that you know the London people will fuck with your music, mm. then Lagos people will now decide to fuck with your music based off of the fact that you're popping in London. Yeah. Or someone is popping in London. Is that yeah. how your story? Is that how you think that your you, your story went? Yeah, that's how my story went. I saw the I saw it happen. I saw the trajectory from the day that Skepta followed me and posted my music. People who didn't. I remember that the shout it's out normal now. You know, yeah. it's normal. Tomorrow now you are sitting a melody. Make Beyonce follow you. And that time if you say your uncle wife daughter go call her lie you. Yeah, but anti melody. <laughs> I hear you when you say that, but I think that Lagos was fucking with your music already at the time. Mm, no. To a certain no, 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 no. We, yeah. we, 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 we can't say that because I remember when my Vex vest came out. Orishi, Orishi, they know my MO. I know they bite my tongue. They didn't understand me in Lagos when I dropped Dog World that I was dissing the whole thing. They didn't understand me. Say, what's this guy saying? It's that community of people. They didn't understand my music. I'm not saying everybody, mm -hmm. but the majority of people in Lagos did not understand it because they were used to one certain type of music. And I came in with this new thing, this new swag, this new brand. Okay, I'm like, okay. who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> you get me? Mm -hmm. And that who the fuck is this nigga made them be like, oh, more. You saw you just feel safe. You just can't do any I go, ta, it didn't work. I, I don't, I don't pass. See, so. Hmm. I'm not talking about you. No, no, I know. Maybe I'm speaking I know, from I know, I know, I know. your point I, of view. I know, no, no. I'm not speaking from my point of view. I'm speaking from a perspective of so there are different layers of music consumers. Yeah. I think there are people that are just casual consumers. Whatever is trending is what they listen to. Mm. And there are people who, even if it's not trendy, they can discover something good and they like it. And then there are some people that are just music heads. If mm. that's trending or it's not trending, they think it's good, they fuck with it. Yeah. Right? I think that's where I fall. Now, before, way before you blow, my baba in Mendy, do you understand? This guy... So there are two babas on the show, basically. The second guy, not the one that cuts my hair, mm. is a big fan. He's been listening to you. Like, I saw this guy rap the verse to How many niggas are carry go heaven? Yeah, chef. Do you understand? Yeah. I saw this guy rap to that like six, seven months before you blew up. Now, when you blew up, I just saw more niggas coming to that place rap new songs. Mm. Right? So I'm telling you that 
people were already listening in Lagos. Yeah. It just might not have been the mainstream that you thought. Yeah. But I still don't think... I think the Skepta cosign... The mainstream. I like that. Yeah. The Skepta cosign was very instrumental in people understanding, okay, maybe this person is worth our attention. But I think the moment is everything religion, my opinion, yeah. is Declan Rice. In my opinion. Yeah. I think Declan Rice was where everything changed. And even when you dropped Picanto, I, I know that Lagos people... I Listen, yeah. Listen to me and people yeah. used to talk about Picanto and the entire marketing thing that you had with Picanto buying when the you car. When you had that post that they had was, you feel? Exactly. People knew who you were in but, Lagos. But, that, but that's the thing. I didn't, I didn't start music last year. Yeah, like he done a lot. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there for time. Yeah. Yes, I agree. No, we're, we're speaking but, about. But I'm saying I agree with you guys because yeah. they are saying mainstream. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The difference between the mainstream and everybody that's and music. I you understand? Agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So. So I'm saying mainstream Lagos dance fuck with my shit, and I know that for sure, brother. Fair enough. When I released contents, I was like, "What is this guy Fair enough. saying Fair enough. again?" To the point that sometimes they don't even listen. They just want to just chastise the people. I like it. I love it. Yeah, it's good for business. You need the polarizing effect. And even me, if I only be a stupid guy to, to think that everybody's meant to love my music. There are some people that they don't understand what Shea Vibes is doing, but there are some people that will die on that hill. And for the fact, I'm, I'm an artist, for the fact that someone can die on that hill, then there's something, something worth there. it. You know, you know, be my first go like my own. You know, well, you can't say I'm doing trash. That's what pisses you off. That's what the fuck pisses me off. Actually, you want to say something? Nah, I was going to say that, um, like, people, like, there were different instances where once in a while people would say, okay, this guy was up to something. But it wasn't still, like, a large number of people. Mm. I remember when you did the song with Alpha Gini. Mm. People were like, okay, like a lot of people who didn't know you then were like, okay, there's something, or maybe they knew you and they didn't understand you before. Yeah. But they were like, okay, there's there's something here, there's something. Here. But to a large degree, I I I, I get what yeah. you're saying. Lagos people didn't really fuck with your sound. Yeah, they didn't understand they like, it. Picanto and having somebody like Zlatan on Picanto. Yeah. Really helped ease. I called Zlatan. I told Zlatan. I say, boy, boy. I say, bro. I need you to be on this thing. So I can get an advance. Oh, real life. Yes, that's what I told him. I need you to be on this song so I can get an advance. Not because of the money, but because once, once the company invests in you... They take you serious. They are obliged... They want to make their money back. Yeah. yeah, they want to make their money back. And they are obliged... To, like, I've always, knew, I've always known that my P was heavy. It could sell. The product could You've sell. you always move like that, to be honest. You know? Always. I just needed that extra upper echelon push that, that takes me from the streets and puts me in the office. So when I told Zlata, my guy was like, oh yeah. I was like, hey, we could go play ball. I was like, oh, this boy we won't go play. You know, go better move playing for studio. <laughs> I said, no one. I sure we did Picanto and we did Organigwe. Oh! In one night. Ooh. Yeah. In one night. When I was coming, he called Church. Shout out Church. He told Church to make the beats. For Organigwe. For Organigwe. Man. When he did we can do verse, so yeah, you get one piece where they make for you as they come. Where, where, where were you niggas on where you guys? For my for my door. Kept that cause the old woman voice. <laughs> he said, Odi, bring out the old woman. <laughs> oh my god. Well, do you agree that Zlatan was a an incredible pa- um, pathway to getting acceptance in Lagos? Heavily. Heavily. That's why I hit him up. Yeah. I hit him up so that the streets can feel first, it. because I'm a street guy, I'm a people's person. Yeah. Make the streets know what's in the shop first. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then every other person can understand us. Latin, you know, Latin is a very cool guy. How many people we don't help? Fact. Me, Buju. Yep. Name it. Charlie. Shei. Like, Zanku is always there. He's that guy that... He's that guy that is... For real, though. Yeah. He's there. He and that's how I, li- I like to run my pee. That guy. That's that's how me I like to run my pee. That's why I have. Before you met him. Sorry. Did you know that before you met him? No. Oh. It was YP that introduced me to him. That's yeah. YP. Yeah, and that's how I want my pee to be. I don't want to be that artist that feels this. He's giving out too much of his sauce. That's why I was on so many songs, features. so many features. You get what I'm saying. 
this thing I'm carrying is a gospel. I need to even do more features. Music will be my own. It came from God. There's more where it came from. That's what Skep said. You can never give too much of what you don't have. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? It's for God. It's That's him that right. is giving me. That I'm, he's his P. I'm just the messenger. And the message choke. <laughs> so why will I now be a custodian of message that is meant to be out? Mm. There are so many songs that have been recorded, dope songs, but we cannot release them. Why? Because, oh, the paperwork, the clearing, the timing, the this, the turn it into a, the turn it to into a, bo- <laughs> a turn it into a fucking bull crap, <laughs> a fucking madness. Shout out, bro, shout, shout out, out to, to the Steve. music exec, to the music, music you know, <laughs> Name me, see, look at the features I had this year. Organic yeah. way took me to the next level. Indicate took me Indicate. to the next level. We wipe it, set to loss, next level. May they go check them. The, the, the features are doing what they are meant to do. Olu maintain. Olu maintain next level. Wrong person, I did go next yeah. level, nasty C. I can keep going on and on. NSG. NSG, brother. And all those verses by God's grace, they don't even sound alike. Now, different P. Yeah. They now tell me to hold this. Tomorrow is not promised. But but you also got to understand that you are now in a, in a system. You mm. You're not part of a You're system. You're not part of a system that works. Yeah. Right? And the rules are a little different just because of how. The other part also works. Does that make sense? It's also worse now. You've upgraded to Dev Jam. You've, exactly. You've been up, you've, yeah, you've, yeah, you know, yeah. That's all the work. Welcome word, right? to Dev Prince. Jam or Dumodu Black. Yeah, you bless. Welcome to Dev Jam. Congrats on that. Shout out to bless, that. bless. But that was uh, shout out Jesus all day. That was yeah. Jesus, bro. All day. How did you find Jesus, though? Greatest ever that walked the earth. No, how did, how did you come? How did I come in co- contact yeah. with him? Yeah. When I left school, I didn't have money. You know? And I was going through a very difficult time. So my mom told me that when you have looked left, right, and everywhere, you have to go and miss God. Mm. I was like, okay, let me try this God P. Let me see how it works. But then again, there was a time I didn't even believe in Jesus because the stories were not adding up. How will you tell me five loaves, two fishes, all those things? <laughs> you know, we now, we try and use our logical to be arguing yeah. against spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. The most stupid thing a man can do. That's why I hate all these woke people. Shout out to Melody. <laughs> no, 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 Melody, that's not for you. I don't care. That, that's, his, that's his arrow. But I don't that's care. That's his dagger. But you, Suta, go home. The funny thing is actually don't care. Excel, go home. I go down if, yeah. if I were you, Odumudu, just be saying your story. Don't bother about me. I'm fine. No, no, no. So as I was saying. So as I was saying. Yeah. You're a fool. You. Jesus was here before. <laughs> like Bob Marley would say, you were a baby. They once wiped your ass. You used to shit on your body and wee-wee on the bed. But you grow up one day and you read one book and you think you know everything. Intelligence fools, that's what I call them. It's in the Bible, God has said, there are things that he has said there, that are there, we know that they are wrong. But we come out and we defend it. Putting ourselves in this position, saying we are wise. You damn fools. The period before you... You know, blew up and you became like a big star. <coughs> that that period is very trying, mentally yeah. and all that. So, what were the things you held on to that? Number you? one thing. Shout out Aguna Buizi, anti-war gangsters. When we started doing music, I said, how long will it take us to blow? He said, five years. I said, okay, pick your up mats. Let's go. It's not everybody who tell five years and they'll say, ah, five years. Wait, who? Aguna. Oh, okay. Aguna Buizi. Yeah. <laughs> Five years to blue. I said, if it could take us five years, move start up now. now what now, year now. was this? This is 2017. Wait, what? Yeah, 2017 where, plus where five. Where did you finish from Gilag? 2015, 2014. What did you study? Masscom. Okay. That's why I'm excellent as PR. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yes, I left Bowen in 2009. Wait, what? So yeah. basically wait, 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 there's a <laughs> Bowen angle. Yeah, I, le- I, went, I went Bowen. I left the school. They told me to kneel down. Yeah. Can I imagine? You are like big guy. I came late for chapel. Hey! <laughs> Arrow. <laughs> they say, this they call, this they call, say, new that day, me and my guy will be like Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they say, bow down to the king, we know bow down. Say, I should kneel down. Say, I can't kneel down. 
Shout out Bowen. They said they will call my mother. I said they should call her because I told her I didn't want to go to the school. What level were you at the time? 100 level, brother. By that time, I'd already read Malcolm X's book. I'd already had the defiant spirit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Telling me to kneel down for what? They said they will call her. I said, call her. When she can say what? I said, I told you. Every week they will call you. You travel down here if I don't leave this place. Last, last, and the VC called the beg me. Say, if you have any problem, come. If you need money. Baba, I know one day your school. I left Bowen 0.01. I didn't get 0.1. 0.01. I was and missing then exams. Went, and then, then I went to Unilag. Went to go and stay in Fiola's auntie's house. Our auntie's house, auntie. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, yes, fuck in Yaba. We're staying in a one bedroom apartment. The house is like this studio. Divide it. Abi Fiola, divide this studio into two. That's the house. Wait, hold yeah. on. Is this how you know the way? Yeah, no, the way Unilag. The way is Unilag. Yeah, Dukpe Femi, Dukpe Charlie, me, Moliana, Fiola, seven of us in that place. Crazy. And I'll use our entire Unilag. Enter with diploma. How did I enter diploma? Three days before the exam. I went outside, miserable. Couldn't go back to Abuja because I dropped out of school. I see my guy, the smoky boo, no, sir. He said, ah, Toshi. If you write diploma, I say, how much we did this thing? I come and my mom say, me send me 20K. I need to buy this diploma form. Back, back, back. A friend, they must come. Pa, I enter. We qualify from diploma 2.5 on the dots. So at that sort of level, a rough ride. What, what name <laughs> what did, did you say called you? You say? <laughs> Oshi. Who? Toshi. Toshi. Okay. It's Toshi, but it's Nyoruba. Toshi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the same set with this food critic now? Where am I from? I was in my class. Fuck yeah. This is my set. These are the people I entered. Yeah. This is my set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do, you guys, do you guys have a relationship? Who? You and Okoyemi. I mean, Excel told me that you went to... Excel was no, one that told me that you went to Unilag. No, I knew, I knew, I knew you. I knew... It's my guy. Excel was one that told me that you went to Unilag. I told him that you went to Unilag. Because Mad. the way he used to talk about it then. Mad. Shout out the way. I didn't know. So you didn't know him in Unilag? I didn't know him personally. I just knew him through the way. You and the way were in the same class. The way was an artist, wasn't it? The way was an artist, dance hall. That's a song part of ranking. Thank God that nigga never made music. Are you serious? Why? Thank God. That would have been funny. <laughs> I can't recall sound the way I don't know the way that's yeah, singing on the stage. Nah, <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah. I know seats. No, what was bitch. life? In, what was life for you like? For you like? Were you still putting? Were you making music then? Never. You were quiet. Wait, 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 what? Never, never made. You music. were never making music. Never. Not before. Not not while you're there. Never, never, Why? Ma- never made. Because it was it was not not my thing. You know that don't called me that time. Hmm. What were you interested in at the time? Football. Aside from football, I mean, you said you read Malcolm X's book. Were you interested in like social political movements? Or yeah, kind of. Because I used to go for protests and all that kind of shit. Like now in my life, I've read only, I think, five books Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, a book about faith, Fela, and Bronick, a guy that ex- escaped from the concentration camp, the Jews in Germany, Nazi time. Those are the five books I've read. And those books and the Bible, six, define who I am as a person. So four books about para, two about faith. Brother. <laughs> what, what did you learn from those books, the Malcolm X and all them books that you read? What Whatever you, you believe in, so far is right, you die with it. But what is the definition of what is right? Uh, you know, when God created everybody, he created us with his spirit. Mm. What I learn it today, if I, if, I, if I do something wrong, this this spiritual thing in my body that will tell me, brother, this yeah, thing is not right. That's why they said God gave the king of Egypt a reprobate spirit. He made his heart hard. Okay. Everybody knows right and wrong. Facts. That's why when people come up and make excuses to go against the word of God, I just shake my head because you want the society to accept you. Those books now have taught me that OD, stay in Abuja. And this Abuja, we see, you see, you go die on, die on that hill. The way Malcolm X and Martin Luther King died on that black hill, die on it. The way Jesus died on the word of God hill, die on it. Whatever you believe in, die on it. Because it's your pee. God showed you. At the end of the day, when all of us go and come back, and I say, oh, I decided to say something I was not meant to say because Excel said it to be appealing to the community. When I go to heaven, this guy has a You'll better be chance of it. even going yeah. into heaven. You'll be judged on it. Yeah, because I listened to somebody 
when my spirit told me not to. So like the story of to the... those books, that's what they taught me. So when you say things like, so when you speak on um, discerning spirits mm. or saying that, like we having the conversation about right and wrong and asking how you know what is right and wrong, do you also take this energy or do you, do you also feel this way when you're being told about some of the things, your, your opinions that you have? Do you care that people, how, like, how do you, not, so it's for you, is it that so long as I'm okay, whatever it is that I'm saying, regardless of how people are speaking on it, I don't care, or how, like, that spirit of you saying you know what is right or you know what is wrong, how do you navigate that when in social conversations that you're always in? Now, in social conversations, you have to know where you are saying what and why you are saying what. If you go to a place where they are shooting gun. What you say flies. When you come to war, you say whatever the fuck you want to say. But once you're in a good place, you must say a good thing. Me and you, we the fight. You kill my mama, I kill your mama. No me say we do a correct thing. And when I say something like that, let me say, okay, somebody says something, and I say counter mm -hmm. that what the person says, based on say we the insult ourselves. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. Facts. And I know in my spirit that it is not right. But at that point, we were in war. That's collateral damage. And after that, I will go and say, God, this thing I said, I know say no right. I overreacted. It's not a good thing to say. Where I have a problem is where people say that when they shoot you, because all in the name of brand, you should keep quiet. OD, the same way <laughs> Jesus came to scatter everything. I came to scatter. See, David, Yabi, me will yab you back. Fino, he will yab you back. You say, because say I be brand. Brand for where? My brand is I will yab you back. <laughs> do, you, do you sometimes feel like some of those, like the responses, like it's not necessary? It is always necessary. Mm -hmm. Every, every it time it is necessary. Who said they were not necessary? Because they said, oh, you are a brand. That's what I'm saying. Because, oh, you are a brand. You're not an artist. You're a public figure. I'm nobody's role model. Jesus is there. Follow Jesus. Don't follow Try me. Try Jesus. Don't follow me. <laughs> I fornicate. I drink. I smoke. You want to make me your role model, you must be a dummy. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you telling me? I never came here to say I'm the holiest guy. But don't bring that shit to me. I feed my family with this pee. This is my hustle. Don't talk down on my business. I was, I was sitting with one girl one day and she said, um, OD, that girl that you insulted on, on Twitter, daddy, you shouldn't have done that. I said, that girl said I'm a misogynist. In America, that's enough to take food off my plate. But you don't see it as heavy because you already have an agenda against me. Mm. What if they go and show my mother, say, ah, your son is an, a misogynist. All those things they used to say, Gen Z was, he's a rape apologist. He hates women. How will you say things like that? Things so vile. When I have four sisters, and my mother, two house helps, no woman can come out and say, Odi shoved me, or Odi pushed me, or Odi did this to me. All the women in my life, all of them, dated, non-dated, they will tell you that Odi is a sweet guy. But I don't even need people to know that. I think I need them to think I'm a motherfucking bastard. Because that's the idea they already have in their head. So, so long with that. I only answer to God. I, I only you. look up to God. I, I need you motherfuckers to think I'm a bastard. Guys, 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 we're about to go on a break, but don't go anywhere. <laughs> The conversation continues. And if you miss anything during God the break, damn, the full nigga. episode drops on Monday, Christmas Day. Zero condition. Yeah, exactly. Ra, ra. Make sure you catch the full day on YouTube and on streaming platforms. Um, listen, I think we, you and I have had some in passing about how I feel about some of these things, right? Yeah. I don't necessarily have a problem with them. Yeah. I don't necessarily have a problem with some of the things you've done. Or some of the things you've said, because I feel a lot of them are contextual, right? Um, and where the context applies, let it apply to whoever thinks. These people they don't need to look at context. No, they, they don't. I'm getting uh -huh. it, yeah. right? Which is the sad truth about social mm. media is, and ev we have a a negative perception of liberalism, where we feel like everything liberal is is right, which is my problem with social media. Mm. Right, um, so anybody that says something that doesn't can she just leave the set like that? No, we are not 
on TV Well, she right can. Now. It's allowed. It's allowed. Okay. Not <laughs> she can. Is it boss my head? She can. <laughs> Why not on TV right now? Um, where we feel like everything liberal is right. Whatever liberal sentiments from liberal, vocal liberal mouthpieces with a lot of followers, whatever they say, they are right. I have a problem with that, right? Mm. And I can see why those things can rub you the wrong way because those people are responding to you with their agenda. Mm. They're not responding in honesty. No. Yeah. They're not responding to you on the point of what you said. Yeah. They're responding to you on the point of we're going to accuse you of something that what you said might or might not, might not have been. Mm. But we're doing this because we want to shut you up. And exact, and it's not even about their, their philosophy. It's about the fact that I think my voice can be louder than these guys. Mm. I want to contribute my voice to your voice, mm. which has always been my voice, my problem with all these Twitter people, all yeah. these woke people, all these feminists. Their activism has, has always been dishonest to me. Always. Right? Does that mean I agree with all the things you are doing? No. Mm. But it just means that the way they argue with people and engage in conversations, there's always a dishonesty there, which is very performative, mm. which is where my problem lies. Argue with people on the point of what this is. Dwell and disagree on the point of what is happening. On the truth. On this Do you Yoku. understand? On the point of what is happening. Don't come and put words in their mouth about what they didn't say. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Don't judge them based on what they didn't say. Or what you feel. Exactly. Because you, you're also trying to engage with your followers. Mm. A lot of them don't know. Which is where my problem only lies. Mm. But you know how I feel about these things. You mm. and I have had conversations about where I feel about some things, where I feel, don't feel about some things. But I need to know, I need to say it on this board that I need everybody to just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Honest. You shut the fuck up. I'm, but and then again, and then again, it's entertainment. I, and I, I, I feel like when it comes to the conversation and people expressing their opinion and sh mm. sharing how they feel about something, people should continue to do that. Yeah. Regardless of how it is received, regardless of how anybody receives it, nobody has the autonomy or has the right yeah. to tell anybody how to speak and, yeah. what to say. and what to say. I am, as a person, I'm very big on conversation. Because I have learned so many things from people having conversations. Mm. One of the most brilliant things about Twitter is perspective. is the back and forth of opinions and sharing of knowledge. So I think that the idea of, oh, nobody should, people should not say this, people should not say that. I don't buy that idea. Mm. I feel like people should have the conversations. I feel that when people come to you with... Negative. Like, not negative. No, no, no. When people, when people come to you, not negative, I have to say that. When people come to you with their opinion on how they feel. What is the word you disagree with? Or, or like, oh, Odumodu, this is what you said and this is how I feel about it. Mm. It's how do you respond to it. It's like how you receive it. Or, and like you said earlier on the show, you mentioned something about oh, um, the way people maybe, the way you feel that people are just, come, people are just out to attack you. Do you think that informs how you respond because sometimes I feel like some of these things can just be conversations that's a okay. good question then because now sometimes like uh -uh, we just they ask you something it's like somebody saying I because first off you sing for well I can't say you sing for everybody you're the artist I don't know yeah. if you sing for everybody I don't know because some people say oh I'm here for the girlies I'm here for the this I'm here for that I don't know if your music is for everybody it's for everybody it's for everybody right school thank you for that clarification you sing for everybody so if you put out something that someone disagrees with or feels a type of way about, I should be able to say, oh, I don't like this or I feel this way about this mm. or why did you do this? Or that's, that's the beauty of social media. Yeah, Even like Beyonce, lovely. when she put out her the Renaissance tour thing and the thing is playing everywhere, people were of the opinion that why is this showing? Was it really playing everywhere? Mm. Or showing everywhere? Or showing, Was it really playing everywhere? Showing in certain places. Standing, please. And people were asking her, why is he showing in Israel? Like, oh, we feel the type of way about the fact that I'm showing this in Israel. It feels very insensitive and stuff. It's a conversation. Mm. So I feel like when people come to you with that and say, oh, Odumodu, why this? Why that? Mm. The way you respond to it, is it off of your own preconceived or your experience it depends of people on, it depends on. It you? depends on how the person asks it. Because I'm a genuine spirit. When I see a foul spirit, I can spot it. You don't think sometimes you're just apprehensive? Nah, one, once, there's a, once there's a foul spirit, I can sense it. And a lot of times, I'll call my guy, I'll say, Kamu, take my phone, take my phone, reply to this person, make I see you go talk. It's funny. You get me? That's why I say sometimes it's entertainment. 
I brought my own rules to the game. If you're not going to talk about Odi about this, you're going to talk about the music. You're going to talk about, look, I'm this my swag, my Ibo man swag. So who we'll say I just have you wear clothes? You just got to talk about something. Yeah. And that's the space I find myself in. Is now, how will I use this to, to amplify my talents? Mm. Mm. So f- f- for the music, and when people talk about the lyrics, if you're a music lover and like you've been in the music space, there are certain things that I say, oh my God, this is so vulgar. People have been saying like really vulgar mm. things from the days of old. They've been, say, where, they've been saying what? You worse. know, you listen to Akpala, Fuji from way back. Yeah. They, we, they say these things. But I think that is just the conversation, like how we can have the conversation. Because if you're mm. representing everyone, when someone says something, I think you can have the conversation or just choose not to have the conversation. But the, the conversations have, have been had. And like Tolani said, there's injustice in their brain already. Dishonesty. Dishonesty, rather. So they already, they already feel a certain type of way. So they are coming with a foul spirit. See, now, the way you ask me this question now is from a genuine point of view. That's why I can reply you in a genuine way and the answer is right on point. your back up to also go back and To fight. go back and is forth. Is that why? Yeah. Okay. So you can, you can sense when somebody has a foul spirit towards you. <laughs> you get me? If it's for my own good, I can tell. And once you come with a foul spirit, you are not entitled to anything good. Because now, you already came with your shield and your, and your what do you call your I mean, dagger. I have to come with mine as well. I have to come with mine as well. And if you are going to, you come with your sword, Kala is going to come with a gun. If you come with a gun, I'm going to come with a bomb. If you come with a bomb, I'm going to come with a tank and a nuclear weapon. If you go low, I'm going to go lower. Guys. That's what it is, nigga. Guys, we are back from the break. Hey, brr. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed any of hey, that, make hey. sure you catch the full thing on Monday, Christmas Day when it hey. drops. Listen, listen on listen. YouTube and also Cookie. platforms. Cucurella. What city yeah. do you represent right now? I represent ABJ City all day. Okay. Masachik, being Lagos, because I was born here, Fair and I respect the fans that are here. Fair enough. Um. I'm I'm going to come back to that conversation about Lagos, but um, where were you before you came to Unilag? I was in Bowen. No, no, like... ABJ. What city were, oh, your mom moved to ABJ. Yeah, I left Lagos when I was seven. Oh. Went back when I was 17 or so. Mm. You know, so like literally grew up in ABJ. That's why I can't cope with the traffic. Yeah, that's, that's So you are... You're actually an ABJ boy. Yep. I need people to. I need you to say that. Yeah, I'm an ABJ boy. Fantastic. All day. I feel like a lot of people have been getting into it. Ah, track yeah. one, Abuja people. Yeah, exactly. One, Fantastic. And I also wanted to talk about like um, the Lagos part where you were talking. I felt like the conversation was, if you want to blow in Nigeria, you need Lagos. Of course. Do you disagree? I agree totally. Why? Because it's the music hub. Another thing that, okay, let me say here for the first time in public. When I drive agendas, <laughs> I'm telling you, you see that Illuminati that Sloan talks about? Yeah. You can create your own Illuminati. In terms of your agenda? In terms of your agenda. Yeah. I can wake up in the morning and my spirit to say, guy, fuck Lagos. Why? Because people are going to, okay, when you say fuck Lagos, what are you tendering? What's the yeah, tendering Abuja. Or oh, why is it saying fuck Lagos? It's because of Abuja. Mm. That's where from behind I'm when I you need to amplify Abuja. Yes. I need someone something to bounce this. Thank you. There are some people say people don't even know them. I'll just wake up for body. You could just say, ah, or more Shakabula or the mode, who goes out of the I'm like, brother, who is Shakabula? Yeah. So it's but not even gonna about get to listen to Shakabula. It's gonna get people to listen to Shakabula. So what's so special about this ABJ that this guy's talking about? You know, sometimes I can exaggerate in how I respond no in how I convey the message but that's how the message is meant to be it's meant to be like front cover mass you, communication yeah shit. mass communication when you read hey. it that sometimes okay when I when I was writing the verse on cast mm-hmm. yeah when I got to that place <laughs> if she you know. yeah if you know if you know yeah. what I was what, what I wanted to say she, there uh, uh, why are you pronouncing what you no, said? You can, this is late time. No, you this is late night TV. Cough. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, fuck, if she no fuck, fuck, if she no suck. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was meant to say, I think I was meant to say, um, um, if we no run, no, if we no come, 
who go stay for the stage and it's some, something something relating to music. I went back, I listened to it, I said, Odi, you have a chance to say some some shit, nigga. <laughs> say some shit. You get me? Yeah. And I didn't even say it from a point of degrading women. You know, because all these people that don't like women, they've made me their poster boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It sells. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's what they made me. And I'm not. You get me? If they say I am, that's their business. But from the horses' mouths, when I say I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. No matter how much they say I am. Okay. You know? And I said it from a point of cruise. Even your babe can use this on you. Tolani need today. If you know, go. Let me know you Tolani. No, you Tolani. Fiola. You should use Tolani. Fiola, if, <laughs> come on, his girlfriend is here. So you see, so you see, if I if I did not see brother, on the real, if I did not I really care you. about women, yeah, I would have said you what said I wanted it. to say. Yeah. But my human spirit, my spirit stopped me. Say, Odi, you can't say that she's here. He doesn't have a girlfriend. We'll call her, come on, be going so back. he's <laughs> so his imaginary girlfriend now. You get me? Can you sit on here and say, I feel like today if you don't knock me two rounds, that your this thing banga, I'm not gonna cook it. Transactional sure. sex has always been a thing and it will never stop being a thing. Yeah, no, it's between, I'm saying between couples now. Yeah. Okay. That even couples say from the woman angle, you can use that line and catch that cruise. That's why babes love it. It's not personal. You get that's how they say. No, they, no, say that again. Yeah, it's not personal. Exactly. They say, ah, how will they say this kind of thing about women? So far, seeing that Odi talk him, my agenda, no worries, a problem. Kadibi go talk him is nice. Rema will say it. But can you be this? Rema will say it. Rema will say it. It's nice. What's WAP about? It's not the same thing. What's WAP about? What 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 are, what, what are you? What are, you are, are you about? Are you about to be dishonest? What's what no, about? Not, no, no. Make music about? No, let's not talk about talk, talking about Cardi B. The Where? WAP the WAP lyric. We're talking about um, don't give no broke um, don't yeah. give don't yeah. them um, don't give pussy to a broke nigga. Broke niggas. Yeah, what was that? I tell you something. Broke niggas I, tell, I, I tell you something. There's one thing that there's one thing that men cannot take. Me, Odumodu, mm-hmm. I can take envy. Mm-hmm. I can take jealousy. I think I know what you, you can to take say. my money. Mm-hmm. Or you can never disrespect me. Mm-hmm. And it's way you see say man and woman break up for house. Mm-hmm. It was probably because of disrespect. Even God, the thing we know if he take, not disrespect. So don't come out and say that oh, okay. I am a broke nigga, knowing that it makes me feel a type, a type of, of way. A type of and way. women say that shit to fucking hurt your ego. No, it's like don't that. act like don't act like you don't know. It's well, like when I ask you who did you go out with, you say you went out with your friend. <laughs> Why are you putting his name on that uh, friend? Are we dumb? You know in your mind, you know in your spirit when that you are telling somebody that the person is broke will hurt the person. Or you when know? they break up with you and they will come on Twitter and say, yes, you I say yes. Hey. Is that broke or small They penis? can't say that about me. <laughs> Big color. Hey. Planning hey, le, le, le. Big con. <laughs> hey, gay, 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 gay. <laughs> Brr. But, but this conversation about saying that someone is broke, yeah. right? Let's, let's, Let's let's talk about that for a minute. Yes, baby. What is it? Or what you mean? Yeah. What is it about men? Let's not make it a men thing. If you're broke, make are you not broke? You're to make okay. it if if you're broke, are you not broke? No. Yeah. So are you saying that if a man is broke, just don't say he's broke because of his ego? Mm-mm. Okay. Bro- when you, there's there's there's. Odi can answer this, please. And also for the card, okay. no, I'm actually asking Odi. Okay. Ask okay. Odi. And the yeah. Like I said, there are always two ways people come. When your mother says, ah, Tonani, this one that you are broke, are you sure you need to buy this shoe? She's not insulting you. Hey, mm. Charlie, that's it's the scared. wisdom of God. It's but when you come out and say broke niggas don't deserve pussy, you are insulting me. Hmm. 100%. I don't know what is there to analyze. So I don't understand. There's nothing 100%. there. Melody, let's not go. Let's not dig deeper. I've 100%. told you left from right. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, Makima is out here on our podcast saying, hey, girls, go position for at a house party. Go position at house party for Okay, Makima is saying, girls, they change your life. Do. Maybe you connect them. Maybe you. 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 Maybe
see how it come and clear your name. Let, t- plug. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh my god. What you said the other time is if you're not broke, move. Mm. In the same vein, if you know they suck or fuck to collect wig and handbag, move on. I don't understand why it's a problem. Because the reality is there is a lot of women that if they don't suck and fuck, they are not getting wig and handbags. She I, just, I don't understand. No, I, 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 I hear you. When I hear you. Okay, okay sorry, go I on. The reality is that the day that this there was a particular day this topic was heated on Twitter and you had yeah. to with that babe. I think yeah. No, two babes actually. I think it was a Monday, yeah. right? So I, I was at Obi's house that Monday. Mm-hmm. And DJ played song. And you know when they pause and yeah. the audience you know, say the lyrics and people were screaming the hell out of It's the hardest lyric in the country this year. The only thing that goes that comes it. close to it that can go head to head with it is I'm on a Vilebu. They know they see me. What the Shakespeare? We were at uh, Benson show. Yes. He performed the song at Benson. Hey, show. brother. The DJ did the same thing. I saw the video. The whole crazy and not even girls girl. like and pass. Did you see the girls that, that posted themselves re- reciting the lyrics, and then girls, says, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> one girl yes, another even, problem. That one girl I have was even with. insulting her that she doesn't have hair. Later, they will see that somebody is body shaming. You know all those Gen Z talk body shaming. Right, let me tell you something. Shaming, shaming, shaming. The woke women is. They have a problem with everything else once they themselves do it. Mm. Mm. That's simple. Yeah, that's it. And that's the height of hypocrisy. No, no, I, do, I do believe you had some points to make. You can I, I, I've already made my point. To be honest, I, like I said before, most of, the most of these lyrics or, or um, just said the conversation that we have about music and say, oh, people are saying this or people are saying that or like the use of certain words like vulgar lyrics are things that did not start with our generation or did not you start guess. now. People, if you listen to Akpa Life, listen to Fuji from back in the day, I, for one, just want, like, like Tolani said, if you don't like, I feel like there's even, if you don't like something. If it doesn't apply to you, no need to be triggered by it. It's well, you can't be if, triggered. That's not how triggered no, 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 triggering works. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let, let, what I'm saying is, okay. if it doesn't apply to you, you shouldn't be triggered by it, especially if it represents the realities of a specific subset of individuals. Simple. So people are having the conversations and saying stuff like, there are lots of women, which is true. There are lots of women who work, who do their own thing, who make their own money. And they are having the conversation with you and saying, Udumodu, this, even generally, if you say, if you put out anything and someone is having a conversation with you and saying, Udumodu, oh, this is how I feel, which we've, we've already had the conversation. So I don't think there's any need to go back on it where you say, where I say, I think it's in the way you have the conversation. It's like, yeah. somebody's saying this to you. I, I as a woman I feel upset or maybe I feel a type of way even though it's like you can move on from it but it's like oh I want to have the conversation with you like oh I don't like the fact that you said this yeah. you can, we can have yeah, those I conversations and you can definitely. wait Natalia Excel sorry and you can respond to them in a civil way and say okay this is what I was thinking or, or you can choose not to respond you see what he said in a, a civil, civil way, way. A civil that way. civil way now it depends on the spirits where you carry on ask me the question you understand also I feel like a lot of people because Maybe you lean into we this. We work in entertainment, too. We see. Things. I don't know what you're talking about. We see now. We see. I really see don't know. Blow up, and we see how the how how babes move around them. Uh. Do you understand? So sometimes I need to understand that when artists even write lyrics like this. I remember one particular time they were coming for um, Ajebota Twenty Two, right? And um, Ghost, and they were like, and I'm like. Y'all don't even know. I want to ask you what a question. What real life is like for these niggas with these girls? I want to ask they you a question. They are literally running away. Those girls that are having those conversations are not in that life. So they are speaking about. Men they can't keep quiet. Wait, wait, wait. Men they can't keep quiet. Men they go listen to. Excel. Uh, Excel. 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 Waiting that they go. Excel. Nathaniel Bassi. Odi, Odi, Odi. Wait. Why you don't? Excel, you don't whine. Listen, you and me, the streets. Hey. You understand? With the citizens. We are actually on the strip. <laughs> you understand? With the citizens. And plenty of funa with the replies on this. We know your lives. Tolani. So you guys will have receipts of them. We do, but brother, Tolani. I'm an, I'm stepping into my OG era. Tolani. I can't be casting regular people. That's not the conversation we're having, Tolani. Listen, listen, well, listen, 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 listen. No. If you have wait, wait, wait. No. If you have a problem with if you know fuck, if you know fuck, is and I know what you do for in life. 
Oh. You can't be like because that's hypocritical. You, you, you no, can't. No, 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 no. Listen, I know you. And guess what? And guess uh-uh. what? There is even a. There's a I know the house where they the 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 I know their apartment where they live for Banana Island. I know the job where they work. You earn 120,000. My nigga, so calm down. You, you need to <laughs> calm down. You drive a fucking Range Rover. You need to calm down. I'm not even shaming you. Listen, my, I'm of the opinion that there is a market for this shit. Do you? Do you understand? Yeah, there is a you. market for it. If there were no men that mm. were willing to pay for it, the market would not exist. exist. It wouldn't exist. Do you understand? Not and to the say that there are no women that are doing that for the equivalent of lower class men. Not to say that, but the preponderance of evidence tests towards the fact that a lot more men are willing to do that than women are willing to do that just because society allows men to do it. Now, what I am saying is this. If you do them, there is a market for it. That's why you're doing this. But don't come to social media to scram performing hypocrites. Now, what's in the vex me? You know the problem is... Simple. The problem is the 1% of men like the one percent, the men who are at the top, they are balling. They have their life figured out financially, especially yeah. because when we say one percent, let's not lie. We're, 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 we're relating to finances, right? Yeah. The one percent of women, one percent of men, want the one percent of women. Absolutely. That's what they want. Absolutely. What's the one percent of women? One the one percent of men. Simple. Hmm. The hundred percent. Shout out to go men and the rule of one of women one thousand men get up. Women date up. It has been it's something that has existed before we were born. Women date what up. And there's nothing if wrong with that. Your boyfriend no get prospects prospects. But there's nothing wrong with that still. No, so nothing. No, we know they argue on on social media. So, so I, I feel I feel like men know they argue on social have, media. So I I hear the conversation about. <laughs> I want to ask one question, please. Legal practitioner. I want to, to ask one question. I, I, like, I, I feel like... Let me ask one question. Yes, mommy. please. Are you, mommy. Christian? Are you a Christian? Mommy. Yes, I am a Christian. You're a Christian. Are you a Christian? Bro, Jesus baby to the core. Are you a Christian? Shadow of God. I ask you. Are you asking me now or everybody? Now, I'm asking everybody and it is a yes or, or no. no question. I don't want eh, but, da, da, da. Is prostitution good in the eyes of God? No. 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 In this our age and day, they've said it is work. It is what? Work. <laughs> Melody. Why are you Mel- mentioning my name? What's your wait. problem? Listen, listen. You're always listen. so quick to mention my name. Wait, I'm Sorry, coming. I mean, I'm, coming. I'm coming. Let me land. I have a response. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me land. Please go on. They say it is work. This thing that <laughs> God has said. It's not good. <laughs> they have said it is work. I ask you out there, the people that are listening, when you stand in front of God at the pearly gates, mm. can you... <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, some people can be delivered from this evil spirit. Tonight. Can you confidently tell him that it is work? Wait. Hmm. There's a difference between doing something wrong and going to God to say, I'm sorry. Hmm. Are you doing something wrong and standing on business? On social media. Ayo Modu, I don't believe in abortion. I feel his mother. Because that's what my Bible tells me. Hmm. I know that if I come face to face with Jesus, he will tell me that abortion is not right. So no human being made of flesh can come and tell me that it is right. Don't tell me that it is your body. It is not your body. The body belongs to God. That's why when you die, you go and give account of it. If, it was your, if, you, if you give me $100 now and say it's my money, I can't spend it anyhow. Nobody can question me. No be my money. <laughs> but this thing we call the body is not your own. Has never been. That's why you never take it up with you. You go back to sand. And when you go back, the spirit will say, God, don't give you. Oh yeah, what did you use that body for? If it was really your own, you should not be given account of it. So stop fucking saying it is your body. But the mother has cooked with Jesus. Fucking witches. <laughs> Now, let Stop me... deceiving the young brother. It's a serious pee. Stop <laughs> deceiving the young people. Yeah. Stop telling I, them I it's their body. The no, your body is Stop not your own. People. It is for God. Use it to do the things of God. And when you don't use it to do the things of God, ask for forgiveness. Consequences. Don't say it is right. I hear you, Odomoda. Come on, a, let's go. I have a question for you. Mommy. 
Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. So, um, so for people who are Christians, most definitely you believe in God. I feel yeah. like everything that we own as a Christian, everything that you own and everything that you are is from God, including yeah. your body. Yeah. Right? That's on one conversation. Mm. But God made you the custodian of your body. Mm-hmm. God gave you your body. Mm. And because we are, we are made in the image of God, mm-hmm. which means that he gave us ability to think yeah. about what is right and what is wrong and what is right and what is wrong for you. Mm. When women say, my body is my body, mm. they're not saying my body did not come from God. They're talking about people creating laws, creating policies about their body that do not even affect them. What kind of law? The law of using your body to make money? I am a woman. And I is know that, what, is that the law you want to teach your daughter? No, this is no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> this is happening. Is that the law Ladies you want to? Ladies and gentlemen, is that the law you want to teach your daughter? You want to pass down? No, this is not about. I'm explaining. You made a statement about body and God and women, so I'm explaining yeah. that to you. This is not about teaching your daughter or whatever. My I'm ex- sister. No, wait now. <laughs> continue, continue, wait, continue. wait, wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm explaining the phrase. My body is my body, and yeah. why women say that? It's like it's my body. Mm. I need to. I understand what I need and I understand what I want. It's like. Do you, you really understand it? Otomo, let me be done with Continue. my line. Good. So it's like men are creating laws, creating policies about, oh, this is what you should do with your body. This is how you should. And they're like, oh, it's my body. I know what. It's not about God does not. God is not enough of my body. Do you understand? It's more about like fighting against a system that keeps telling them what to do with their body. It's not about God. What mm. you are saying now, my dear, Adi. It's crazy, my dear. Adi, 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 <laughs> that the devil used to come and infiltrate the mind of young girls. I do not agree with what you are saying. Your body that. is not your body. Your body belongs to God. I agree. And once you do anything that is wrong with it, you and you know. I agree, Otomodo. Now, in the com- <laughs> yeah, I agree. Saying. In the conversation of God and doing things against God, all of the things that you do, are they... Do they, are they supported by God? That's why you go and ask for forgiveness when you do something that is wrong. Don't try and claim rights. Don't give, don't give don't intelligence project, reasons. So you're saying, don't project it don't, as what is right. As what is right when you know that it is wrong. It is not wrong. It has never been, it is not right. It has never been right. And it will never be right because our God has never shifted the pen. What is there is there. The Old Testament, Jesus did not come and wipe it away. He came to come and fortify it. Not everyone is a Christian. You also need to That's what I'm that. telling you. That's why I asked, are you a Christian before I started going on? Yeah, I hear you on that. But so, so people that don't believe in no waham, no wahala. People will believe in idol worship, saying at them they drink blood. If they think that that's what they know, that's what they know. So, he, sorry, can I? Do you want to say something? No, I was going to even go like um, the science route. No, can I just ask something before you go, you go? So here's the thing with social media, um, with people and social media. Social media gives people a false sense of importance, right? And the false sense of importance makes people it makes us argue unnecessarily someone made it i i watch a lot of videos on instagram i think that's what i do my time these days and someone said stop arguing with stupid people they don't know what is intelligent so the moment you keep arguing with them you are arguing their stupidity with them and it's reducing your intelligence Mm. you understand Mm. and i apply it to a lot of things these days which is and that's why i block a lot of people on social media i've never blocked anybody no no let me tell you something if if you okay, one if, person the moment I spot an energy energy in your tone, you can't have that conversation with me in real life. You understand? Yeah. You, once you see me, you, I don't mean to be cocky, but you can't even step up to me and say hi. Do you understand? Mm. I'm not I'm not trying to be cocky. But I, Excel and I have had this conversation where people will have the biggest mouth on social media. They will see you in person and they can't and say, say boss. And they can't back it up. No, they will be looking at you. Do you understand? They they will, no, no, no. They will come and say, boss, I'm a big fan of your show. Oh my God. Do you understand? Welcome it's to the thing. industry. It's a whole We thing. love you. <laughs> we love you. We love what Does you do. Sense? So I'm saying this to say that a lot of people on social media... It's a force of importance that it gives everybody. Mm. Because that we can hide be- behind our keyboards and tweet all these opinions that we probably don't even believe in. That we've not tested the veracity of. Mm. That we don't even understand the truth fundamentals of. Right? Which takes me to the next point of... I don't believe that. I believe that... I'm actually pro-choice when it comes to abortion. Mm. Right? Because I feel like it's a very complicated conversation. Mm. It is. But I'm not going to argue with you. Do you know why? Mm. 
there are three types of conversations on social media. Inherently right, right. inherently wrong, mm. borderline, mm. and everybody won't agree on. Mm. Inherently right, we all know it. Inherently wrong, we all know it. Yeah. Borderline is where we can agree to disagree. Where we are never going to agree, we are well, never going to all going. disagree. Just leave it alone. Yeah, and, and also for the conversation about for the conversation about women and all of that, I feel like a lot of times men need to listen to women and understand what they need and what they want because you don't know Not what... when a lot of women argue with dishonesty. You need to... <laughs> I'm sorry, what is the truth? You... Not when you're out I, I... of social media <laughs> oh God. performing for your followers. I, I was speaking about the... I the... don't give a shit. I don't give Not... a shit about you too. Congrats. <laughs> like no. a fuck, a flying fuck, nothing. Congrats. Fantastic. Not when you're out of social media performing for you started off as an activist right i feel like you're saying this with somebody in mind oh yeah. absolutely <laughs> there are two people in mind actually because these people i feel like their accounts need to be shut down to be honest because i see i see one of you in real life you are not living what you're tweeting on social media and that's fair and, and that's and that's a listen, social media listen, thing listen, listen listen i know you i've seen i've heard of you so in certain places i've seen people talk about you to me and I know your life is fucking fake. Right? Now, all that shit you are tweeting on social media, just shut the fuck up. Oh, fake. That's what we Because you're not true. You're not you being honest. Your head there with your big act, but that's fake. Do you understand? <laughs> it's fucking fake. I know, like, let me even say it. You've checked for a fucking phone before. So I don't even know what the fuck you are talking about. Damn. Do you understand? I'm not going to mention your name. You know yourself. Now, what we are talking wow. about here is. Uh, Hey, that was very specific. The what, person what, knows themselves. What, 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 what I was even Hello, saying. please let me oh, draw my point. Oh God. Thank you very much. Now, you are not being truthful. You are going to come on social media, all this talk. But you are out on social media talking for a phone. From men. Fuck. Shout out to men. Why are you shouting out men? For God's sake. Do you understand? Surprise. The price yeah, was not the money, it was, for, was the, it was the phone. And it wasn't even an iPhone Pro Max in 2022. And still. <laughs> it's not even 40 Pro Max. <laughs> so if not 15 Pro Max at least. What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, God damn. I'm not saying anything. There's a, there's a place in the Bible that says, train up a child in the way to go. Mm. And <sighs> will not depart from it. A lot of times I feel like People attribute that particular scripture to disciplining a child, which is also very important, right? Because if you don't discipline a child, you'll grow up to be an f- idiot. Mm. You understand? But there's also a thing about also creating the right kind of environment, emotionally, mentally, and otherwise, for a child to be in and grow and become a proper adult. Mm. Now, there's nobody I know, there's none of the women that I know that pro sex work. That want their daughters to be in sex. Bro, Excel, let, let me tell you a short Let's, story. It's time for us to be real. Excel, Excel. Brother. Excel, Excel. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Brother. Let me give you an example. You come out and you say that it's work. Yes, sir. You come out and say it's work. But once you stand on the Bible, you cannot accept your family to do that. Then, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not even talking about you, but that's a demonic mindset. <laughs> I'm telling you. I understand why that's Motolani, the case. Motolani, I'm telling you, it's a demonic mindset. I understand why it's the you case. You don't want... How may I see it, Ba, yeah. is... They say, love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. If you cannot accept it in your house, don't encourage people to do it. Don't vouch for it. <sighs> don't bring up pep talks and points that will drive it home. Because how? there are some people that are borderline trying not to do it. I have and that your conviction is taking them to shield have you ever the thought, land of the dark. Have you ever thought about the fact that they are doing things close to it? Hmm. <laughs> Defective Listen, for me. <laughs> let's not be lying <laughs> to ourselves. Now, me. I once had a conversation with someone that I used to be involved with on social media. The person knows themselves. We were talking about sex work. And I was like, ask the person a simple question. This person had a child. Would you allow your daughter to go into sex work? This person blocked me. Like, you were promoting... Yeah! Like, this was... His, this person and I hadn't been involved in two years, right? And we were arguing back... 
it was the era where I, I still used to go back and forth with people, right? And this person was, you know me. You can pick up your phone and call me. You didn't. You decided to attack me. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're da, 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 da. On social media. Okay, I'm going to ask you a simple question. You had a child. Would you allow your daughter to go into sex work? Block you. you blocked me. It's just like us that are on the streets and we had to make ends meet. And we're trapping. And I have a son and they say, Ah, Odi, would you like your son to sell drugs? No. I don't want my son to do that. Because it's not good. No matter how much I have made from it when I was in the dungeon, it is not good. It is not good. Case closed. Well, I feel like sometimes people conflict respecting people's choices for promoting something. You can tell somebody, oh, that's what, oh okay, you you that's what you're doing. So why can't they respect so, the modus choice? That, that's stance a different. That's so why, a, so why, can't, why can't they? Why can't why can't they respect, why can't, why can't they respect my sexual. stance on it? That I don't want. I don't want it in my house. I don't want it around my kids. I don't want it fucking with my spiritual. I already have a lot of sins that Jesus needs to forgive. Maybe. And I'll now come out and come and be supporting people because of what? Because I have a record deal. <laughs> then the record you should burn in hell. It's yeah. not my money. <laughs> I told my people, if it goes against my belief, if you turn me against Jesus Christ, I told Tizzy and he knows, and God help me, he's a Jesus Christ person. Shout out to Tizzy. If it goes against Jesus, then we will not collect the money. <laughs> he that's, you the, that's the real, I'm telling you, the Prince of Lagos, that's the real selling your Shout soul. Shout out Tizzy, I love you, bro. That's the real selling your soul. Because when, once I vouch for what my spirit does not vouch for, and the next day I, I'm not lucky, and God says, okay, he wants to carry me. What will I go and tell him? I'll look like a fool. A goddamn fool, nigga. I can't be that nigga. Guys, while we're still preaching, we make preaching. sure that you stay tuned. We're going on a break right now. The conversation continues. Make sure you catch the full episode when it drops on Monday, yeah. on YouTube, and on streaming yeah. platform. Jesus Power. All Super the way. power. Oh, start, 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 start. Jesus you guys, power. Yep. You guys, Super power. I'm begging Jesus literally power. at this point. Jesus What's the Jesus power? power? Like, yeah, are, you guys, are you guys for real? Melody, Melody you are a product of Jesus power. Yeah, you Jesus keep your words yourself. I wasn't Jesus asking. You are a product of Jesus power. Why, why are you trying to insult me on the podcast? I beg, I beg. Hello, Excel. Wait, wait, wait. cool for a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I give you an opinion. Why are you angry? Please, I beg, I beg. It's fine, it's fine. Don't be angry now. Please, I It's fine, it's fine. Are you angry about some of your connects on the streets? The Bible says, bring, bring wait, forth wait, your wait, strong wait, reasons. Wait, 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 if you don't now. have, keep it. If you don't have any opinions to counter <laughs> please, with, don't be angry. Just keep it to yourself. I'm not keeping anything. I'm, right. I'm a black man and I'll voice my opinions. <laughs> please. Let's talk about congratulations Focus. on the success of Ezioku <laughs> and Ezioku Deluxe. Shout or, out. AKA Ezioku on court. On court. <laughs> um, oh, we're back. Okay. Guys, we're back from the break. If you missed any of that, make sure you check it out. Shout out, shout out to you for the success on the success of uh, I, I thought was really going to I thought so too. You know, the day I was in your with you guys and you played me center B, I was like, this is the shit. This is the and I thought it was going to get a video. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Yeah, you know, low key when I dropped my project, I dropped bear videos. Yeah. From yeah, Doggy yeah. Dog Picanto, Blood on the Dance Floor. Uh I, okay, I did a mini video for him still so more. Uh, <laughs> doggy dog about that. Yeah. <laughs> you get me? Like I did bare videos, and I was, I was still shoot more. I think I, I need to shoot Kubolo. Filo, 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 filo. It's a mad, it's a mad tape, isn't it? Um, I love the uncuts. I love water, water seasoning. Um, shout out Black, Black Sheriff. Yeah, shout out Blacko. Came through. How did you, how did you get him on that? Uh, okay. So Blacko was meant to be on Declan Rice. Oh, oh, I see. I see yes. I see. But based on, you know how industry be now. Availability. Clearing, <laughs> availability. So he had done he recorded it. Yeah. Oh. But I never got to hear the verse. Who linked Blacko though? Who? 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 The first time I met him, I think it was Iriti. That, no, it wasn't even Iriti. I know Iriti just called him. Shout out Iriti. I think she just called him once, but I think I met him on my once. I got to feel your shit. Like, back then, anywhere, I, like, any car enter, I'm playing first sermon, second sermon. I knew this guy was the truth. You He's get real. Me? He's real. real as fuck. And it didn't happen. And God know why it no happen. Made no say now, black will not blow me. Because nobody black will blow me. Nobody can blow me. My destiny has already been written from time. I'm just walking into it. So, who would you give credit for being the biggest proponent for your blowing? The what? The biggest, biggest proponent. proponent. 
<clears throat> a human being. No, it doesn't have to be a human being. I think it should be my niggas. Really? Yeah. Your your Abuja niggas. Yeah. Replay, Fat Boy, Aguna, Gustavo, Cross, UC, Afro Selector, Laxi. Those were the guys. That's Laxi. COVID. I was staying in Afro Selectors Afro Selectors house. I was sleeping in the parlor. He go bring foam for me when I wake up. Afro don't go make chow. I'm gonna call a mask now. Shout Afro, out Afro Selector. Selector. He don't make chow. Shout everything. Shout out to Afro Selector. Do you know if you go to Afro Selector's house now, he will escort you to the car. That's one of the going. nicest people in the music industry. Brother, that really guy nicest niggas. To why, why I blew. One hundred. I I think that is very interesting. The way you are very vocal about your guys and how much you like you put them on. I think mm. one thing that you have consistently done, like brother, is put your when it's like, God. Ma- can I finish? Continue. I'm sorry. Finish, finish, finish. Yeah, what I was trying to say is that um, it's very interesting and I love the yeah. fact that since you got to like your blow-up season, like be like a mega God superstar, damn, do you understand? You have consistently put your other artists, your other friends on. You constantly make reference to them. You give them credit and say, oh, these are my guys, these are my guys. You're not, yeah. you're not ghosting them because, you know, sometimes you expect that once somebody becomes a mega superstar, they, they put their friends on D&D. Mm. You get, and when, when your friends are calling you, you won't pick up the call. Do you understand? So we, when we hear about artists and we, you hear about successful artists, there's always, you always hear stories. Sometimes, sometimes, not always, you hear stories about them not picking up their friends' call or, you know, not the guys that they used to grow mm. up with. Like, people with whom I'm serving them, I ask them, all the people they grew up with, where are they? Do you understand? All those kind of stuff. But you have consistently put these guys on with no pride. You make reference mm. to them, you give them shout out. Shout out to you for doing that. Yeah, bless, bless, bless. Shout out to Jesus for that. Mm. Shout, shout out to your niggas, man. Shout, shout out to Afro Selector. Shout out to my niggas. Um, Afro Selector, I think, was instrumental in you and I even Lincoln, having it. Yes. Yeah, even, even Lincoln in the first place. Um, I feel... I think your blue was inevitable, to be honest. Mm. What do you think? It was coming, you know. I think it was I think it was you done everything. You had great music. You built a strong community. Strong that community was and for you. You were performing everywhere. And you were you were related. One day I won't perform for one bottle of hero. Who? What? As your payment. Yeah. Where? Where? Uh-uh. Me and replay now we'll go perform. That's a replay. In this black America, that car, you sold that car for like one twenty K based on <laughs> the thing knocked on the road. When we came back, they had bashed the car, so we just sold it for scrap. Went to this show. Oh, finish performing. Maybe even the planned payment to one of the owner of the place. Ah, when I try, give them two chilled. What year was this? <laughs> Cheat hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2017. <laughs> oh, 20, my God. 2018. 2018. Shout out to That's when I discovered Okrika tracks with 1K. Where wow. did you buy that? Year I won. In Abuja. Trouser. Bro, yeah. what's up? <laughs> Bro, that place. Trouser, that Shepard place. Thing. Bro, that place, yeah, that place where you just talk about, as some oh, dopest in this country, the best brooks you buy, yeah, is in that place. Yeah. You know the same place, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, the, 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 the Donia, bro. The if, you, if you, if the best brooks, like wingtip shoes, if you're a lawyer, and I just hustle on the come up. That's good. There you go. See go there. You go. Tell me to be a lawyer. Nice so. I'm okay. a lawyer. It's not useful. You see, I okay. Went to law school. Well, I, you went to law school. Oh, you went to law school. Political science. Oh, mad. You went to law school. You went to law school. You to lawyer. No. L- let me know. Let's not talk about me because if I said it now, they'll start making more care of me. Please, I beg you. Genetics. Ge- my, that- st- my lady studied genetics. Exactly why I didn't want to do that. So I always DNA avoid melody. talking about it's me. Science because students. They do this a lot. They are yeah. trash. But that means they are very smart. <laughs> Don't stand on business. Don't stand on facts. My lady stands on wokeness. Stand on emotions and feelings. Wokeness. Is science built, built on that? Liberalism, re- science liberalism, built on that. Let's, let's talk about black yeah, shape to women. Is liberalism, stamina. Let's, stamina. Talk about, let's talk about stamina. 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 Even if they wake Michael Jackson from the dead, it can't take me to the next level. The next level is in the one hands of only person, in the hands of only one person. And that's God. I would never, as a human being, give anybody the, the glory 
that are meant to give God. That's I do worship. Hmm. We won't counsel people. I do worship. You have no power <laughs> to do that. So his people are like, oh, yeah, we need to do that. And Black was like, yeah, this is the right time. Mm-hmm. Because he believes in time. Even that declare right time, it just showed that it was not even time to do it. Mm-hmm. I needed to do my thing on my P. Yeah. So, oh, dear, I know you're a people's person. God say, yeah, I know you're a people's person. Say, run it. Let them see that. You can actually run it. On my album, 22 songs, I sang 22 hooks. Until I won them. Say, go to OD for hooks. 22 songs, 22 hooks. Smashing hooks. Kubolo, Adama Beke, Doggy Dog, Comment, Sentobi, uh, Shoot and Go Home, Abuja People, Woto Woto Seasoning with Black I sang the hook. Oh, yeah, oh, I did it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. They should respect the team, Motolani. I did do, bro. They should respect the hotel team. Lobby. I sang the hook. I'm smoking. <laughs> you know? Shout out and shout Black out Black Hole for being the person that he is. Turned up for the video. Mm-hmm. We did everything. We even went to his show. We shot part of the video in his show. Real yeah. nigga. It was like a one take thing. No, different takes now. You know, that's our PDB. Shout out to Black Hole. I've always said that he's a real nigga. Never met him. I yeah, love no, no, he's a lovely I've guy. Never met him. But the realest nigga is Charlie Poppy. Bro, Shakas. Are the fans of this show know? You know why? When Charlie Poppy came here, oh my god, oh, that was a madness. Everybody knew. How did you? How did you guys link? So my guys would always tell me, ah, guy, you need to work with one guy from Bini, Charlie Poppy. I'm like, I don't know him. What year? Last year. I was like, he needs to be in a, on Elon Musk remix. I'm like, bro, I don't really know this guy. Make I sabi him first. He was on TikTok at the time. Yes, I think let me know him first. No, no, not El- El- Shapiro. I was like, if I'm going to do anything with this guy, finally, it has to be something fresh. He sends me cast. When I heard it, I told Tizi and Chubb, I said, this is the Christmas anthem. He said, yes, who this is. I recorded it. He said, now it is, really is. Cast. Yes. Now it really is. And... We made that song. Me and Charlie, we don't know, say, more. this thing, go pop. Now, so just brace ourselves for the impact. glory. We God one return, you know? So I see this guy is a real nigga. I'm with this guy in, in Portacot. And he asked me, say, Udumudu, how you take the right to your music? This guy now said, ah, is it premeditated? And Charlie's like, what's the meaning of premeditated? He wasn't even ashamed to say that. He didn't know the meaning. That's how I knew. He was a real nigga. He was a real nigga. Brother. When, mm. that, that's how, when, when, mm, that's when, the realest thing you have yeah. ever said. When somebody comes with a genuine spirit, if you go with a genuine spirit, you can tell. Yeah. You know, I, I called him right I said, guy, where you day? He said, I did Europe. I said, which country you day? He said, guy, Alpha, which country you day? Germany, hey, we did Germany. <laughs> you know, so pure. And me, OD, if one thing I have is the spirit of discernment, down to the musical rollouts, down to what to say on the track, down to who is for me and who is not for me. Anybody I'm fighting on social media is demonic. <laughs> I'm telling you, because they come to me from a place of not caring for me. You cannot come from a place of not caring for me and expect respect. That's one thing no deal never give you. Do you are there things you've said on social media in the past before you blew that you regret? Plenty of things. I can never even say them here. Fair enough. That's why. Because that time, you know, just like Saul, <clears throat> Saul was very radical in his views against Christians. Yeah. You know, you cannot tell me that a 19 year old Odumudu Black is the same guy today. Of course mm. not. There are some things that I did not understand then that I understand now. Like, guy, even if you feel so, so weird about this thing, you cannot say it like this. Like that. Or like this, or like that. You, you get what I'm saying? 100. There's never a time that somebody will come at me from a good place and I'll go back from a demonic place. <laughs> it's when you take me to hell. I will take you to Hades. I say, you want to go to hell? Don't worry. The kids will miss 
devil in my pocket. Let's go and meet him. Let's go and bond together. I hear you. Um, yeah. How would you... So, one thing that I know for sure is... There's a lot of execs in this, in this industry that regret not taking, not not making a move on you, not taking a chance. Mm. What is the role that you think Native played in your journey? So right from day one, I've always knew that CZ was the guy. That was CZ. 2019 came for a block party, <coughs> and they're telling me, "Ah, go and meet this ass. He's gonna meet that ass." I said, "No, I need to meet this guy." My guy said, "Who be this guy?" I said, "Don't worry." When I meet him, he go, no, he's the pipeline for this my music. This my music needs to get to the UK. This thing I'm doing needs to get to the UK for the people in Lagos to fully respect it on a mainstream level. And that was what I mapped out. Like this, by God's grace, I already have my four-year plan, mm. five-year plan. I know what I want to do in 2040. 2040? Yes. It's mapped out. Abbas used to say, is whatever you guys are replying, no, it's his past. So do you, do you think that for people who, like you said, for, um, you mentioned Abbas. I don't know who Abbas is. Abbas is my media guy. Okay, that says that people are replying you, uh, people are holding you. Mm. Um, people are speaking on things that you, that you, opinions that you had from the past, right? Like, okay. When M. Solomon wanted to drop. Yeah. I guess the whole situation. When the snippets came out, I was singing this MC Oluomo, everybody the vibe. And I thought to myself, I said, Oh D, if you promote this song like this, it doesn't make sense. The guy MC Oluomo, he's branded as the guy to cause katakata. That's how the society sees him. I've not met him before. I don't know if he is really that guy. I cannot say based on few clips, I can say this is the guy. Because you know how internet works. Mm. But the image of an MC Olomo is Rockus, <coughs> the king of the streets. He can never take no for an answer. I say, okay, Odi, to promote this thing, you must promote it the way MC Olomo rolls on the streets. I fire down. <laughs> hey. you, you know, that, the time that happened. Yeah. The, the, they thought the, I even did it because of the election. Yes, the, the political season landscape. and all of that, the political landscape. Do you think that that was the right time to drop such a song? taking into cognizance everything that was happening at the time and also with him. It was beautiful because we're talking about it now. That's why I did mask home. <laughs> Entertainment business, you know if you go there, say everything are roses. That's why niggas stay down. You don't want your linen to stain. Mm. I'm a soldier. I do this. This is how I feed my mommy. I will do whatever it takes. I went out there when they gave me money to come and perform. They give me hard-earned cash when it's all mattered. I did not collect it. Hmm. But you turn your eye away from that one and focus on something that is so but frivolous. I didn't know that, though. I said it. It was then. I said, oh, the more this is the refuse so so party money. So we say, who are you to reject so-so people's money? They even insulted me on that one. So how is the guy that did not collect the party's money go and sing for party chairman? The truth. Nobody cares, <laughs> nobody cares about the truth. When yes, they, they don't care about the truth. So since they don't care about the truth, let all of us be mad once in a while. It's, and I'm telling you, baby, it's part of entertainment. All those things we can hear, they do, can hear, can hear. Now entertainment. Now one thing where people never really gauge. This one has zero conditions. When artists come talk something, we sound like this or like that. That is it. People stay on their phone and they're watching it. That's, they're entertained by it. That's why you do this thing to entertain people. The most important thing is the man was inside here, inside. You know, sometimes you go, you go, you guys collect me, you collect, guys collect punch. They say your back, son must beat your back, so your belly go chop. What are the lines that you wouldn't cross, though? As I, I mean, Jesus, of course. What are some of the lines that you would not cross ever? Uh, not going along with my guys. My guys have to be there from beginning to end. I don't, I don't compromise entire world with anybody. I don't. That's that's one thing. That's I think. It is. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's the one thing I don't, I don't compromise my niggas. 
That's that must be really nice. You know, do you do you like do you, you feel left behind? No, no. Do you drag them? I'm asking you. Do you do you insult <laughs> your guys? I'm sure you respect them a lot. Yeah. That must be so nice. But we still insult each other. Man. Some people can relate, but yeah. <laughs> the way they used to insult you, I'm not saying anything about me. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do we do? Yeah. Um. So we're talking about native still. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like native records. When they say, "Oh my guy, let's do this P," I mean, I like underdog something. When I just open a B, oh yeah, let's start together. Let's fuck it. You know, and I already knew that these were the guys that I wanted to be with. You know, this was the pipeline, so it was. Seamless. What made them look like the pipeline? Mm. That's from TZ, of course. Yeah, more um, they get plug. Of course. Chubbs right. not heavy plug. Now Chubbs do Black Panther. Fair enough. Maybe say because they my organo they blow in trumpets. But they know now heavy weights. Chubbs not he- brother. Brother, Mike Tyson in nine, in the eighties, brother. Fair enough. Chubbs they go twenty five fights, twenty three knockouts, first round. May they go check the resume now. He did there. Yeah. That's a wild analogy. <laughs> May they no play. He said Mike Tyson in the 80s. In the 80s. You should make a song about that. Hey, you know the pin now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love the most about Skepta? What have you learned? What's that one thing you've learned from Skepta? His spirits. I've watched every Skepta documentary, every That's Skepta interview. Skepta. The way he talks is the way I talk. Even before I met him, I didn't learn to speak from the way he speaks. Yeah. And when I met him, he said that he has been in the industry for so long, only for God to show him another of him in Abuja all these years. He has never seen it. Damn, bro. You know, he's the, he's the guy that on everything. He's rolling with his guys. He's like, oh, after this, your album, you need to do one with your guys. I said, that was already the plan, you see. You see. When I went to Dev Jam office, I say, there's no reason for me to be here. And I'm not pitching my guys. It defeats the purpose. If Nana accepts them, no wahala. But I must tell you about them. Mm. And for me to walk, they must walk. Mention all your guys again. Ripley, Fast Boy, Aguna, Shaba, Cross, UC. Yeah. Jimo. You know. Afro. Afro Selecta. The many Laxi, Black House Gang. Gustavo. Gustavo, that's our manager. Charles Top Gustavo. one, two, turn level. Are hey. you are you a romantic guy? Hmm. It depends. On what? The season. When was the last time you were in love? Twenty seventeen. Oh. So you've been without a romantic no, romantic, no means no day. You can you can you can be in romance and not be in, in love. Willy Willy practitioner. This one <laughs> wait, I don't understand. No, no way. I said wait. I said when was I can you? like you. Okay. And I be romantic. You. you can like me. And be romantic towards you. Yeah. But say I love you. Nah, nah, nah. nah I nah. see it from a different perspective. When was that time you were in love? That's when twenty seventeen. So say, I, say I day in love. Say before, before me, this person must come first mm. at all times. Yeah. Even when she's wrong. I, I didn't even... I didn't even... Like, brother... How did you integrate <laughs> into the Abuja system, though? How did I what? How did you integrate into the Abuja side, guys? Like, all the creative community in Abuja. Um, Shout out Lagos, because I was born here. I... What they call it? I had that... Spirits and the guys in Abuja are laid back. So, this guy is coming for a show. He's went to and all of these guys, 10, 20, wearing tactical jackets. They come on stage, they are performing, they are never performing this stuff. They are not shouting, Yo, fuck it, did it die? Ah, what the, the fuck? Get them off, you know. I already plan and say, Ah, before they listen to our music, they must know us first. You don't want to be that guy that your song is bigger than you because hmm. once you're on SoundCloud. You are listening. You see, you see a name, say melody. You go say who be this or where she starts to do music. You next is when you see Charlie Poppy, you because you know the person. So I say, okay, how can we get known? Let's try and get known. Yeah. Then after they know us, no. we can now Press give them the product. No, Thank no, you. You know the title of that movie. Now they see us. 
guy. Um, are we, we're not done, are we? We're not done yet. I was, um, I was on this axe. At what point did it become very clear to you that you had entered, you had blown, you had become, you had, you had entered success? At what point was it? Picanto, was it Declan Rice? And can you remember the specific moment mm. that it was like, yes, I'm here? Funny as it sounds, was when I recorded my second song, Farah Ballet. Mm. Yes. Huh? <laughs> yes. When I recorded it, brother, the way I move, I move like I know what's going to happen tomorrow because God has already shown me when I recorded Farah Bale, God had already told me, boy, you're going to be a star. That's why everywhere I entered, I did what I had to do and I did not care about the consequences because I knew that whether this or that happens, this P is going to work. But you were not making music while you were in your life. When did you start making music and why? I went to the studio to go and work. Okay, Aguna came back from school, from Unilag. He came back, saw him downstairs. He said, guy, sure. I came, I saw his box in the car. I said, bro, what's thing you did do? He said, don't drop out. I said, don't drop out. Hmm? He said, they go do music. He said, make I follow him. He said, make I do him manager. On the spot, too. Oh. Is that, is that good night here? No. It's not here. What year was this? 2016. I said, guy, you should say you won't drop out. I said, yes. Say, I go follow him. I said, guy, you guys say, see, bro, don't talk about my mother. Are you going to follow me to the studio? Or not. And be my manager? Or not. You see, I did do. <laughs> I get work. <laughs> I do it so I say, oh, yeah, now. Manager, I go. We start. He said, guy, you know you have mad vocals. Try this shit. Write some bars. You listen to a lot of music. I wrote. Sounded nice. But you could tell that this guy was starting. When I recorded my second song, Farah Bale, and I got hold of it, I felt it in my spirit. I'm a guy. This is shit. This is the shit. Because in Nigeria, it's one thing to find what you want to do. It's only God that can help you with that. People don't even know what they want to do to make money. Talk less of making it. Mm. There was one time I wanted to go and do farming. My guy said that he has a land in there, boy. <laughs> that we need 100K. Do you know the gain from that farming? He said, I will waste three months that he gain is 60K. Did <laughs> you guys do it? Brother, I was no. calling him in in the one in my in my hood. I was calling, say, hey, do I find this farm pin? I'm go around and say the people go cultivate the land. They say they don't go collect that money. Say we add two two k on top. Some Richard P. <laughs> what was I thinking? I just needed to find a way out. I had not started doing music, and there are so many people like that in the streets. Did you do NYC? Yes, now. Where? Abuja, National Assembly, but I went to work only twice. <laughs> My old guy, the thing I did for him twice was to audit a false contract for his side chick. Will he, will he practice on that? This one is Senorita, <laughs> being a mamacita. He gave her a bag, bro. I saw that thing like 6 m. He gave her that contract. All those small, small Don't contracts. Don't mention the name, I think. No, for what? I don't even know that my organ's name, Zeb. Don't mention the name. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Oh, wow. The interesting thing about Odumoto is that he lives, he lives his rap. So I, I remember before Declan Rice came out, February, this, when did Declan Rice come out? March. February, right? We are at, it's my birthday, and we're at um, Black Bones concert. Do you remember? In oh, February. Bro! We're at Black Bones concert. So uh, we're... we're, we're we're watching everything happen, right? And then you show up with your with everybody. With man them. You show up with like And a flag. 15, 20 niggas. And a flag. And, they, and the guys guarding <laughs> All the All of them were wearing this car. The guys guarding the VIP were like, <laughs> only Odumodu and like his manager can enter. Like all these other so you had entered. Mm. And they were like, all these other niggas can enter. So they held them back. And then you came back and you're like, nah, we're everybody. all going in. You know, so when Declan Rice came out <laughs> and I saw and I heard them, man, just Boku, it'd be like Declan Rice. I was like, this guy no lie, because this is actually how That's he That's what works. it is. Yeah. Whereas well, Buju's concerts the other day, mm -hmm. and... Yeah, I saw that online. Yeah, and, and 
I was inside the ah, I was inside my car chilling. When my guys they, they see the day outside gates, I go out, I see you see number one producer outside gates barricaded, insult upon injury. <laughs> now I said see. let them in, they say no, that you should, you, give, you should give them tags. I see you cannot give my guys tags. They don't need tax to enter here. I say, okay, since that's your policy, I respect it. Let me out. Like, you want to go join them? Eh, uh, let me go out. Maybe that will hasten the process. Yeah. They say, I ah, know the mood, you know, if you come out, to thinking, see, if I come out, I you go, know, go. You go, go, yeah. Say, I know, go come back. I say, just let me out. Let me go. The bouncer say, no, say, no, if you open the gates. Oh, get let my guys in now. Oh, now you want to kidnap me. <laughs> you want to kidnap Kala. <laughs> I open the gates. She like to enter inside everybody. Unfortunately, my guy don't go the jack soldier. But now the soldier they wear mufti. He no no. He no no. Me now they jack my guy. Be like person they say he won't be, my sister marry her husband beat him. I don't want hear whether my sister shoes go gone. Nag I go first beat him and I call say he no. What's he was so? You understand? So now what's it happen? Are you my, last child? First and last, I'm the only child of my mother. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were talking about sisters. You said you had sisters. Yeah, like... Extended. Yeah, like my, my father had a wife before he married my mother. Oh. She passed, yeah. So your stepsister. My stepsister, yeah. Cool. So like, I'm like, Omo, we enter inside, they're trying to calm the soldiers down. They say, that the Modu guy will be fine. This one, that one. One bouncer comes and say, Alpha, soldier, they call you. Me, I go use my leg. Waka eta la yos dead. I say, the soldier go, if the soldier go wound me, Maybe for front of everybody, I don't look fiola as we look ourselves. You say, brother, <laughs> in a war zone we did now. Everybody don't go. Still, still stand here. Fiola stand here. I did here. Say, I'm going to won't happen. Make it happen. So, how did you guys resolve it? Uh -uh. <laughs> Everything happened for me was a genuine place. We no go there, say, we won't go fight soldier. Yeah. At the end of the day, us and the soldier, we see reconcile. We see even press them small thing. No, so, no, I'm no. sorry for the. No man, no Disrespect. Man. We no know no. And the inconvenience. You know, supposed to stop like that. Now the bouncer cuts him. Yeah. That bouncer still can't beg me for money. So you see, my arm, brother, blood, everything. I say, brother. Calm down. Calm down. You see, this one of my guys, so that one, Mumu, we go huh? outside, go five person. Only a waka. <laughs> I don't go call the day. We go five person for outside. We you don't cause katakata. You walk up, follow. The same person. Follow, eh? You all follow that place. Go prepare. <laughs> They say that he be like a corner ram. I don't see message. That smart that said me the message. Say, ah, they don't enjoy this guy, you. <laughs> I say, wow. Oh, yeah, now, let that see. This is what make I go do. Make I go meet soldier. I say, who, who beats my nigga? No, the trouble. No, no. I beg, I beg, so I beg. You're the power at that level. Ah, oh, boy. So who messaged you to Wisdom. tell you about it? Nah, smart that nah, he messaged oh. me. That was he there outside. <laughs> what, what, what's your relationship like? with smart that, like? That's my boy. I love him so much. His back has been against the wall so many times. But because he's a genuine guy and he's a good boy, the Lord has always fought for him. Smarter, ye. Smarter. Ah. I, th I think that your guy needs to calm down. He's a small boy. <laughs> Smarter is 21 years old. What? Oh. Yes, yeah, Smarter is a small boy. Yeah, he's a child. He's 21? Yes. Oh. This this, yeah. I'm, I'm telling now, you, no. Know, I'm telling you, bro brother, wait, chill. I'm telling you. People make mistakes. Fair enough. You cannot say, based on this mistake, that's where you go take George Am. Now you're not putting yourself in the place of God and that's idol worship. I agree. Cancel culture. If the boy does something wrong and the boy comes out to apologize. 21 is too young for you to create a life for somebody. His mother is 21. Brother, when I was 21, if they dig out what I used to tweet... I'm sure. I'm sure it was very chaotic. Hey, sure yeah, 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 brother. Like Twenty-one. Uh, 21. How many years that ago? I'm, I'm sure you were chaotic. Heavy drugs. Ooh. Heavy codeine. I was upset all day. <laughs> Who I never insults? Whiskey, Davido, Tua Savage. I would not see news about this. Eh? So now everything she do. Not their Pra. I would tweet them. I didn't even care. <laughs> 21. Why they were you upset? Yeah. You see? Why were you upset at 21? I know, I know get anything to lose. Mm. I, I they use drugs, society constructs, normal P. There are a lot of people that are on social media, they just write anything that they want to write. And I was the child. 21 is a child, actually. 
Do you get so what I'm tell saying? It tells you are an adult, but you're still a child. You understand? So when, when people will try and say, ah, they want to hold smaller by this, they want to hold smaller, you can't hold him by anything. Fair enough. He's a good boy. When you meet him, he's a good boy. Because I noticed in the midst of some of his chaos and whatnot, you will still go apologize. bring him on stage with you and whatnot. That's my boy. That's my brother. My mama today, if she hears say I enter inside one place, kill everybody here, she will be there for the court case. That's what family does. You don't leave people. You get what I'm saying? That's why till I die, I ride for smother. And when we sit down, I'll say, guy, we try that thing again. Don't try that thing again. I used to be saying, hey, it was a mistake. I say, yeah. He's not coming out to come and justify it like the other community. He ain't coming on some dishonest shit. He ain't trying to make woke shit look good. Uh, 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 He's taking accountability. What a shocker. <laughs> Odumo, what's with that way they talk? Black people, black people. Hey. The first time I, when I, when I saw him after I blew up, I like, say that thing for And say he did it for me. <laughs> say, black sheep forever. That's my first crew, black sheep. Mm-hmm. I got that shit from Skepta. On Skepta's neck, he tattooed forever on his neck. Yeah. He said that so when he looks into the mirror, he knows that this shit is a journey. It's forever. Black shit forever. Black shit for life. It's Gaju. In Yoruba, oh Gaju means oh, Gaju. Yeah, I know, I know. Then replay say, he joined English and it's yeah. Gaju. That's replay's crew. Oh, replay, he, cross, he, he, fast he boy. That's a class. So, so yeah. when I started my music, I'll say Black shit forever, Black shit for life. Then when I met replay, I say Black shit forever, Black shit for life. It's Gaju. Then me and replay now combine together to form an anti war gangster. I say Black shit forever, Black shit for life. It's Gaju. They're all gangsters. Then when I met one guy, John Bello, owner of G Records, he said, guy, I believe in your shit. I'm going to invest money from me on you. I don't even need anything in return. I see the lights. I know you're going to blow. I'm going to give you a helping hand. So I added G Records. Blush it forever, blush it for life. This guy's going to be my G Records. What more do black, you get me? And I call me Native. Black. Native. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. A round of applause. <laughs> Repeat, repeat, repeat. I don't see you clapping. Did I link to him? He was recording his verse for Dolez. Hey. You were recording your verse for Dolez on Black Bones album. And he did it. I was like, what the fuck? When I say it, you know it's me. He gave me a little black. You know, you know, and then the verse goes. Then he gets up and but the, 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 the. my bro, the guy was doing it, and I was I was cold, and we're like, this guy's crazy. What the <laughs> hell? How did you stop doing drugs, though? It's not good now. It's not good. We've done the height of it. We we're lucky. Our mother's prayer saved us from dungeon. You know, it's not good. I can never say cause I'm rapping about it. It's validation. It's validation for it, but it's just my reality. Mm. And in my rap, sometimes it's not even my story. It's the story of my guys. I have guys that still today, they still take coding. You talk guys, to them about it? Uh-uh. All day. Brother, I'm a military guy, you. If you're my friend, I won't make you even fight. Make me know see whether this friendship is not true. You can't smoke cigar in my parlor. It's not possible. See, I'm old yard with this, so no smoke cigar. But we're guys. Boundaries day. You have a line my, on a song. Um, my your chick like a prison. Uh, hey, <laughs> uh, my, my chick all day on cocaine. Your own. She day on capri soon. <laughs> capri soon. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard that. I was like, I remember because Bigfoot sent me song. I was like, yeah, and it's real. <clears throat> Because it's, it's, it's sort of known. Like there's a drug. Then first of all, there's a drug problem in Nigeria. Period. Epidemic. And then you tap into the north. Mm. Uh, and some crazy shit. Mm. And I don't know what it's like in Abuja now, but there was a time we used to hear stories over here that y'all were going crazy with the with the drug shit. Yeah, I have I have a nigga that, that sold his uh sold his, his his parents Jeep. You know, when they came back, they found him hanging. Hanging. Yeah, he died, killed himself. Ooh. Why? He collected the car for crack cocaine. I didn't have the balls to tell them. So he probably took so much and was paranoid to the point tell that them. I have a guy that sold his couch. He sold his sink. 
for crack cocaine. Sink it's in so, the kitchen. Yeah. Have you ever seen someone sell his sink? Like it. Wow, bro. He sold his sink. He sold his bed. He sold his chair. My guy is the person say, huh? So you no get TV, TV. TV that I tick now. Phone now the first thing. Phone, TV, AC. The shelf in the kitchen where they used to put all those Ajinomoto, Maggie. Yeah. Awesome. He took capital to bring them out. Sold everything. I seen the real shit. What was the first thing you bought after after your success hit another level this year? What was the first thing I bought? You bought. bought. What was the first thing I bought? Hmm. To be honest, if I've made 100 million this year, I've spent 95 million on my niggas and the people around me. I don't buy shit for myself. This cloth, I bought it from Goblin and Co. because I wanted to support his business. This Timbaland was given to me by Timbaland. It's only me and Bonner Boy that have this. Oh, yeah, okay. Jemmo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now leave me at t- now leave me and born away Timbaland don't send Timbaland for. This ring Slon got it for me from our art sales of Easy Oku. He got this ring for me for six thousand British pounds. That's slow. This chain was given to me my skep. This was cheesy. This shirt, sui generis. I don't buy shit. So my if I if I show you my transaction now, today I've sent at least ten million from this phone to people. I'm not owing them. That's what I use my money for. Okay, I just bought a car. <laughs> Congrats, my brother. Yeah, and I had to buy the it. car not because because the Picanto was now it was now too. Wait, now the Picanto you use before you buy this car? Yes, that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Where's the Picanto now? In the house. You see the house? I just bought one small beamer. Make I just... Enjoy your life, bro. No Make I just... No one needs to explain. You've earned it. You've earned it. No one needs to explain. <laughs> OD, you thank know? you so much for coming through, man. Come this on, has, man. This has been a fantastic episode. So, Is there anything you want to talk about that you've not, talk, that you've not spoken about? Um, I just need to tell people that just as I know who I am, they should know who they are. Once it has been given to you by God, not even your mother should make you compromise for anything. Because God, do, God doesn't like someone who is lukewarm. God likes people who use, he, he likes the way they dare him. Say, this is zero conditions. We say, almost this zero conditions, you must blow past this thing. And God go, make and walk. He say, you, because you believe me, I go show you. You won't make you walk back. You go walk past it. Let me see whether you'll be able to handle the glory. Know. You know? And because I know who I am, I believe in my capabilities. And I need to let people know that I'm the truth. You know, OD came to come and change everything. I'm hope for the next generation. You know the way people come out and say they are the hope for the next generation. I am the hope for the next generation. I'm the guy that is taking the blows for people that cannot say what they need to say. You get me? They need to know where my stance is. <laughs> And I will never change. There's nothing in this world that can bring me down. It's say, even if I die today, my legacy has already been imprinted in Nigerian folklore. And forever, it will continue to be there. And I'm not going to die in time soon by God's grace. Amen. Amen. So that more people can come under this umbrella to help more and more people because that's why we do this P. I want to give my Gatesman's child a life he never thought he could see. I need him to school in Yankee. Oh my guess, my children, they use iPhone. Like that P, that table where they say they do they not only lobster, they chop. We go chop fufu, we go chop guguru, we go chop a pa. <laughs> that's what is that's what I have to tell everybody. Shout out to War Gangster, shout out Native Records, shout out Zero Conditions, Bra- shout out ABJ City, shout out the traffic infested Lagos City. Man. <laughs> Today was today was crazy. We no, all we bro. all went through hell. For all of us to get here. We all went through hell because this shit was meant to happen. Yeah, like nah. Five hours before it happened. Nah, yeah, come on, man. Respect, respect this thing. Respect really this thing. You, God bless you guys. I hope that this. Let me take off my cap for this. I hope that this show goes beyond your expectations. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Jesus you, power. Do you consider yourself? I'm just a very simple question. Some people might think I'm I'm causing trouble, but I'm not. Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be altar? What? To be alter. Alter. I think so. Why? What? Because, like, my style of music, 
you get, you can, you can, you can, yeah, it's, it's not conventional. You, you know, even the rapping style, it took people to understand it. It took a lot of people to understand. Why is he rapping like this? Why is it so? Why is it so? You know, so yeah, I can say it's alternative rap too. It's alternative. It's, From what? It's alter, but it's also a lot of things, isn't it? Yes, it's also a lot of things, you know. I made, that's one thing again, I made hip hop sweets. Some people say, ah, who do you know they rap? No, who do you know they rap the way you know rap? Look, I, when I touch stage, girls, they front row. So Supposing I follow you in my I've car, never like heard anyone say that. Hey, see, I suck as well. You know? But I've never heard anyone say that Otumoju is not a rapper. No, people say that. Some people say that. Some people say that. You know? Like, because it, oh, do you know why? Uh, the way it is, like, this is not yet hardcore, you know. Uh, no, do you know what they want? They want uh, me to come and talk about Biafra. <laughs> oh, yes, when I talk about Biafra, I'll now talk about what happened between the Gentiles and the Jews, like Kendrick Lamar. They want it to sound sad for it to sound like hip hop. Yeah. But you're the same person that is, there are the same people that are saying. He's not selling. Hip hop is not selling. It's not going to sell because it's boring, nigga. Niggas want to sing along, go shorty. It's your birthday. You got a party like it's your birthday. That's hip hop. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Bitch don't kill my vibe. That's hip hop. Hip hop. I don't need to come talk the gentrification of the nation for the period that they did it. I be 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 Come oh, on, man. Ain't nobody, oh, do, do, do. ain't nobody gonna listen to that shit. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Fair right. Little Records signed me because I don't sound like McMill. I agree with you. They signed me because I sound like OD. Well, that's that's one thing I'll forever... Like... Sweet rap! Thank you. I... Oh, Kaleo, I, I wish I bring dollar. <laughs> we'll see after they, they say. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it is. I'll forever, I'll forever respect them because everybody was looking and looking and looking. They moved it. Mm. I respect that. Yeah. I respect it because this guy and I have been talking about the movie Black for at least three years. Someone mm. needs to make this move. Yeah. Someone needs to make this move. It was coming. Mm. So they asked him, they made the move. <laughs> and everybody's trying to say, oh, it was ready before. Well, you didn't take the chance. Yeah. You could have. And they were not even meant to, so we don't even blame them. Yeah. You could we, have taken yeah. the chance. God arranged it that way. God so. arranged it that way. Yeah. All right. Shout out to every one of you who has listened to this episode. Shout out to you guys for supporting Zero Conditions. Shout out to you guys for supporting Odumodu Black all year long. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. See you in 2024. We're still out here on the strip. If you have not listened to Ezio Kuo on Courts, what are you doing? Come on, dog. Come on, man. Not only that's why it's the number one song in the country Come right on, now. Dog. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Come on, man. Do better. Do better. And on that note, we out. Yeah. See you next week. Bless. Bye. Bless. Bye.